Hello everyone, uh, that's a video on how to clean your outside the filter or canister. So just pull this tab up, take the valves off of the, the, the canister. You're gonna see just a few drops there, but that's normal. We'll stop. The aquarium is running on top of this. So See that is really safe. You take this the filter out of your um, box here. See it's full of water. Once you have this full of water, it's pretty heavy. So take care. So taking the head off, you just pull these two tabs very easy then you're gonna pull everything up really slow you need to have a place that you can have some water going on because there is not another way to make it cleaner than that so this, uh, the dirt you're gonna see here is from six month period. Since I bought it, I, I leave it to the, my aquarium for six months. I haven't done uh, any previous uh, maintenance before. So this, this top trail is the first trail where all the dirt comes in the first hand. So you're gonna see more dirt in this place first. Then you have uh, Seraporax Media here. There are a total of four trails, right? So that's uh, the second one. I have the top uh, market leaders for, for the media. After taking uh, those four out, you need to run through water. And you can do it with, with a lot of water. The media, you don't want to have a lot of time going through the water, just a very fast uh, passes the water here to take the the dirt out of the rocks. You don't want to leave there for too long because it will kill your good bacteria that you have on your filter. So really fast on that. Second trail, same thing. I better take this out. So you you, you can see the dirt, right? And again, this is only from uh, six months in the aquarium, never had opened this before. That's the first time in cleaning that. I have just one big fish, so maybe that's why it's not uh, so heavily dirt. So you just run a little water on top. You have another trail down, down here. I have some more medias inside of this, these two bags. I prefer to have a lot because it's never too bad to have too much, but it's very bad to have a little. I have a lot of media for an aquarium so small and just with one fish, but this is something that will not run out and I can use for many many years. So we take the last tray, just go through some water. And you need to keep cleaning, you know. Uh, that's where the, the, all the dirt come first. So you see that uh, really dirt in there. Because all the dirt comes first in the bottom of the trail. And you have a lot of dirt in there. <clears throat> See how it is? Not a lot of dirt inside of the housing. I thought it would be worst. Just run some water in there. Do a little twist, a little shake. You don't need to use any kind of uh, soap in there. Just your use your hands to, to clean. A lot of uh, water going on. 
so do the best you can you can replace those I I think I thought that this was not too bad so I'm gonna use the same one but you can also use some new uh, filters like this I'm going really fast here because it will be boring to just watch me watching this so uh, going for fast forwarding this field so after you clean up everything you can start placing everything back to the trails start with the big one then um, once you have this completed you can move to the next one then after you place everything back to its original position you can uh, clean the rotor, rotor of your motor, of your pump, and also clean the lamp so it makes more efficient. See that the motor is not uh, so bad, but it's always good to get some fresh water on top of it. You can use your hands, your nails, and your fingers to get it uh, very nice clean on that. Place it back, really easy. I like to throw some water inside of this place so it takes, takes all the dirt out. Again, go with your hands there, with your fingers, and you can get a very nice and uh, get it really clean. There's not a lot of dirt in there, so it'll be easy. Take care to do not uh, break the lights, it's very fragile install back the rotor give it a twist to, to lock in place and it's done then you can uh, put this on top of your filter and close and, and safe uh, and lock in place so just give a little question there it's closing okay pull the tabs fix to secure in place then you can take it back to your aquarium aquarium and install back it's very easy so you see that the filter is complete out of water so I don't have any water in there see it's very light but that's the that's the good part of this filter because once you put the the plug with the tubing in there and releases the valve the water will start floating inside your filter and and it's it it's it's once it's completely full of water uh, will start working very well see I don't have the, the tab pull all the way down I'm doing right now and maybe you can see already that the water is just getting inside the filter you see those bubbles going up that's because a lot of water is getting inside of the filter and the the air is getting out of the filter water going in and just a little bit going out after a few minutes uh, you're gonna see that uh, it's already working and you can power your canister on and it's done thank you for watching